We learned all about the ocean habitat. The ocean habitat has lots of salty water and the water is very deep. Lots of animals live in the salty water of the ocean. Do you remember the name? The name of the sandy or rocky place where the ocean meets the coast? Where the ocean meets the coast is called the shore or the beach. Let's take a look at another picture from our story. Wow. This is a picture of a shorebird looking for food down in the sand. What is special about this bird's body that helps it live near the water without getting too wet? Take a look at his body part. What keeps him out of the water and not getting too wet? You're right. He has long legs that keep its body out of the water. And it has a long beak so it can reach down into the sand and find food. Wow. This is a picture of a shark. The shark also has special body parts that help it live in the ocean habitat. These right here are the shark's gills. What does the shark do with its gills right here? The gills help him to breathe. And this at the top of his body is his fins. Sharks have fins. Why, do a shark, why does a shark have fins? They use their fins to swim. And take a look at his sharp, sharp teeth. Why does a shark have sharp teeth? To catch fish to eat. Good job. Let's take a look at another page from our story that we read the other day. This animal lives in a tidal pool. It's called a sea anemone. The sea anemone has tentacles that it uses to survive in its ocean habitat. What does it use its tentacles for? It uses its tentacles to sting and catch prey as it swims by with its tentacles. So his tentacles sting and catch his food. Pretty cool. This is a sculpin fish. What is special about this fish that allows it to survive in the ocean habitat? Do you remember the word? for when things blend in with its surroundings? Camouflage, very good. The sculpin fish is camouflaged to the rocks around it, which helps it survive and not be found in the ocean habitat. Do you remember any other animals that we have learned about that use camouflage to protect itself? Very good. Do you remember when we learned about the white rabbit or the mountain hare? that blends in to the white snow or lizards and snakes and how they blend into the dirt, leaves and the ground. And the stick insect that we learned about that looks just like a stick and blends in to its surroundings, camouflages. Let's take a look at one more page. Here we are. This picture so shows Samson seal. Samson seal isn't a real seal. Look at him. He's just pretend. We know he's pretend because he's wearing some things that humans wear when they go to the ocean habitat. What is Samson wearing? He's wearing sunglasses and a hat to protect him from the sun. Why is he wearing those things at the ocean? Yes, to protect him from the sun. We also like to wear sunscreen too as humans to protect us from the sun when we visit the ocean habitat. I'll see you next time.